The mean value theorem has some important corollaries. Let's start with this one. Suppose a function is differentiable and therefore continuous. So we're in the setting of the mean value theorem. And suppose that the derivative is always zero. Then we can say something about the original function. In particular, we can say that the original function is a constant function. And let's give a little proof of this. By way of contradiction. Suppose that f of x is not constant. If f of x isn't constant, there is a value C and a value D such that F of C does not equal F of D. So you've got this interval. A, B, and you've got this smaller interval inside of it. If F was continuous and differentiable on this bigger interval, it's certainly continuous and differentiable on this smaller interval. And we can apply the mean value theorem to this smaller interval and find I'd rather not use E because that is a standard constant, 2.71 something. So let's call it C1 in this interval such that f prime of c1 is f of d minus f of c over d minus c. And now we've got a problem. The contradiction has kicked in because this derivative is zero. That's an assumption we're making that the derivative is always zero. But this fraction is not zero. And the way I know this fraction isn't zero is that the only way a fraction can be zero is if its numerator is zero. This numerator is only zero if these numbers are equal, but these numbers are not equal. 
So zero equals a non-zero number contradiction. And this assumption we made must be false. This supposition cannot be true because it leads to a contradiction.